One day after a New York City jury found former President Donald Trump guilty on 34 criminal charges, Trump is remaining defiant. Yeah, in a speech yesterday, the former president repeated claims he's made throughout the trial. He called the verdict a political hit meant to hurt him in the upcoming election. And he again said he wanted to testify even though he chose not to. I wanted to testify. The theory is you never testify because as soon as you testify, anybody, if it were George Washington, don't testify because they'll get you on something that you said slightly wrong. Now, Trump noted he is still under a gag order in the case, so he can't talk publicly about the jury or witnesses like Michael Cohen. While many Republican lawmakers criticized the verdict, President Joe Biden disagreed. In his first public comments since the verdict, he argued that no one is above the law. It's reckless, it's dangerous, it's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. The justice system should be respected, and we should never allow anyone to tear it down. Former President Trump is set to be sentenced in New York City on July 11th. During their comments yesterday, both the president and former president said it's ultimately up to American voters this November to choose who ends up back in the White House. Trump is the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. Since 1900, only five Democrats have won the presidential vote here in Indiana. Barack Obama is the only one to win this state in the last five decades. We went to Hamilton County to speak with the Republican voters about their reaction to the verdict. It doesn't trouble me that he's a convicted felon because the charges that he was convicted of are, are nonsensical. They're not charges that are anything of substance. Yeah, I personally think it's going to help President Trump. I think it exposes the judicial system corruption. It's lawfare at its finest. Uh, I think people who, who I'm talking to who have even been on the fence a little bit with Donald Trump are now saying, okay, we've got to get behind Trump because we need somebody to go in and really push back on this, uh, this blatant corruption. Leaders for the Hamilton County Republican Party tell us they see the convictions as a fundraising opportunity to sell Trump yard signs. The party says that money will stay with the county party. And we have much more reaction from local voters at our website at WTHR.com.